Sheriff and Darvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow books and artist tablet books. In this video, we will explore making a thick paintbrush and I'll share about the painting process for my piece, View from Sub Reef, that you see here. For this piece, I blocked in the landforms using the oils palette knife, which is excellent for suggesting the stratification on the cliff face and rocks. For the water and sky, I used the smooth round oils and the real bristle filbert and real bristle flat. I want to point out that to make my workflow easier, I made these custom palettes. To make a custom palette, I chose a brush that I wanted to include in the brush selector here, and you see the thick paint category is chosen, and the oils palette knife is chosen. I held down the shift key and dragged it to the palette to create a new palette, and then I continued the process of selecting another brush, holding down the shift key, and dragging it to the palette. I wanted to demonstrate the oils palette knife and how nicely it makes the stratification. I'm going to choose a color here. I'm holding down the option key and I'm going to click right here to choose a rich gold color and I'm just going to pull along right here. You see that nice stratification texture that we get right there. And if I want to make a darker shadow here, I held down the Option key, Alt key again, and I choose like the dark grayish brown. I have my 60 art pen in hand, and I'm going to ro roll it in my fingers a little bit, and see now I can get a narrower stroke. So I'm going to choose the rich gold color again and I'm going to paint over that just leaving a little bit and you see that I'm able to blend a little bit as I paint and give the feeling that there is a deeper shadow that we have an inset area here on the cliff face. After blocking in these areas with the thick paint brushes on multiple layers I had quite a long stack of layers and now I have my 60 art pen, and, and you'll notice I can roll the pen in my hand and change the angle of my brush. So we're going to press the Alt Option key and sample some color, and then I'm going to paint some more waves using the Real Bristle Oils Flat. We're going to sample a little more color up here and add some more wave strokes. Connect some of these strokes right here. Now this is what the ocean looks like after it's been windy all night. To take my painting to the next stage, running. I merge some of the layers. After blocking in these areas with thick paint on multiple layers, I had quite a tall stack of layers. To make painting more intuitive for the next stage, I merged some of the layers. Before merging them, I converted the thick paint layers to default layers, like so. And then I shift selected a couple of the layers that I wanted to merge, and I chose collapse layers from the layer command menu on the panel. Now I'm not going to collapse those right at the moment because we're going to be working with these a little bit more. After converting the layers and merging, I added more brush strokes using oils, for instance the soft oils brush and medium bristle oils. To blend areas I used the grainy water too and oily blender too. Before we move on to talking more about the brushes, I want to point out the reference image panel that we have here in the upper left. I used the reference image to look at as I blocked in my painting, and I also sampled a few colors from the reference image using the dropper tool that you see right here. The reference image panel can be displayed by choosing Window, Reference Image. I wanted to show the painting at actual size. Now this is an in-progress painting, but I wanted to give you an idea of the texture capabilities with the thick paint. So I'm just going to pan around and show this at actual size. 
turn off my signature so you can see the rocks, the water. And the cliff. Now to dissect the brush. To paint the cliffs, I used the Real Bristle Oils Flat and the Oils Palette Knife. Both of these brushes are favorite thick paint brushes that I made for Painter 2018. The Real Bristle Oils Flat incorporates thick paint features and the expressive capabilities of the Real Bristle brushes. Let's open the panels and have a look. I'm going to open the bristle panel and open the Real Bristle panel. Open the thick paint media panel and the thick paint brush pan. And I'm going to open the general. The general panel shows the dab type and we have thick paint bristle. The thick paint brush panel has infinite paint turned on which means our brush is not going to run out of paint and our brush density is fairly high so uh, it allows us to have a great number of wells with the brush. The blending settings allow us to apply paint and also mix with some of the existing paint. Resaturation is set to 30 and bleed is set to 70, allowing us again to blend with existing paint as we apply new paint. The clumpiness is set fairly low so that we have not too much variation. For the thick paint media panel, the paint type is chosen. In the deposit section, we have a high deposit rate, which is going to allow us to apply a lot of paint with each stroke. And the smoothness is set high, so we're not going to have a lot of variation. The canvas is fairly wet, which means paint can be picked up by the brush. In the droplet section, the radius is 35% and the men rate is 25%. So the size of the droplets will be fairly constant, not too large. Radius jitter is set low at 8% for just a subtle variation. Smoothness down here is set to 97% to even out the variations. Spacing is at 60% for coverage with subtle variation. And finally, hardness is set at 40% for a subtle crispness to the thick paint. Now let's talk about the real bristle panel. The real bristle panel gives the brush more expression, but it also determines its shape. So if you look here, you'll see enable real bristle is turned on and roundness is set to 10%, making this a flat brush. Now the default expression is set to bearing, but because I was using the 60 art pen, I have it set to rotation. This flat brush features a medium short bristle length and a medium profile length, as you see right here. Bristle rigidity is set to 60%, which is going to give the brush a medium stiff feel as you paint with it. Fanning is set low at 2% to accompany the rigidity. Now the surface section of the panel, friction is set to 20%, so the brush applies paint smoothly across the canvas, and height is set to 30%, and this is going to allow us to compress the brush a bit as the bristles move across the canvas. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my paint process with this painting and the dissection of the Real Bristle Oils Flat brush. Have fun with the thick paint brushes and happy painting!